trophies. Because all the girls go for guys with trophies, right? Hmm. I can move these tiles. That means maybe if you swap tiles we got them on the wall, something will happen. I need to figure out what strange design symbols mean. Hey, baby, how are you? Oh, you are too ugly for me. Sorry. Wait, is that a platinum trophy for Bayonetta? Oh. Oh, how sorry, honey. I, I didn't know that you you have platinums. <laughs> well, what's up? Check out the toilet in this room. Fourteen equals E. Fourteen equals E. Toilet paper. It's wide enough for me to know what it is, even in the dark. Fourteen. 14 equals E. What was that? New subscriber. Thank you for subbing, Zonic. Thank you very much. Nothing left in the desk. Wait a second. I'm gonna do with this one. This has notches on the back. Where have I seen those bumps before? like something falling. What was that? I heard it too. Let's open the drawer. I got the other one. Now I have four. Well, it looks like we investigated all the rooms. The only mystery left is that door. Let's crack the mystery then. We've got four tiles and there are a bunch of tiles that are the same size on the wall up here. Place for the tiles in the wall with the ones we've got. We should open the door. No one way to find out. Did you just hear something unlocked? Does that mean we got it right? It looks like we did. The 14 hidden in the tile. I converted the hex decimal to E. Basically, E in emergence, the 14's from the tiles. So you replace it, that gives us the answer. You really think... I don't care why I work, just let's go. I, w I w wasn't expecting the answer to be that easy. Just replace the E's. I found it! It has been found! 
That's right, cop outside my window. It has been found. Oh, what the hell is this place? Uh oh. Ugh, this room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here now. Uh -oh. Figures. It's locked, isn't it? Yep. Don't know why I thought this wouldn't be any different. So, what is this room for, anyway? Um... Well, there's a chair in the center of the room. That is my first playthrough of this. Oh, looks uncomfortable, to say the least. It's, it's an electric I'd chair. I'd not sit in it if I can avoid it. it. Looks like it's placed over some kind of glass panel. Too dark to look through it, though. This isn't dried blood on the tablecloth, is it? No, it's it's paint. Oh, what the hell is this? What are these tools for? Mm, that's not something I even want to think about. No doubt about it. This room's dangerous. Let's make our search quick so we can solve the puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on. Find it. Okay. Torture room. Fairly creepy chair. The manacles make me think it was used to torture people. We can't open these manacles without a key. Some sort of weird symbol on them. A sun symbol. Something on the screen. The device will conduct the experiment. Once the experiment has been completed, the door will unlock. First, adjust switches to match the blocks in the sample above. Huh? I don't know what this thing is. We've got to figure out this puzzle. Right next to the torture chair. Okay, stop talking! I want to spoil the rip. Stop talking! Okay, um... Levers got, got to turn something on. All they do is something on odd off. God, I hate Japanese games and their freaking people talking. To them. Now, what is clicking? Does clicking on something interact with an item? I wonder if the player clicked on the item if it would interact with the puzzle in some way. Oh my god, what if the answer to the puzzle was somewhere in this room and the player could go and be like, STOP EXPLAINER! <laughs> Love and play! <laughs> Number of ominous looking tools and instruments in here. Let's see that if it adds in a hammer, a pair of forceps, other things are old and broken, no do what they are. So this wrench is way too new to be here. Don't look rusty at all. Wrench. When you look at from here, the cowboy looks pretty high up. It makes the stairs pretty steep. You better be careful going up and down them. Yeah. So you go around without standing on the floor. Tons of knobs here. Bunch of buttons. Press it again.
Um, that, something's happening. I don't know what though, but things are happening. Damn it! Don't click hint, don't, I'm not going to. There's a pattern here, but my NA brain's like, do, 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 pattern, I don't know what your pattern is. What? Now proceed to execution phase. Six grand data must collected from subject. Let's finish place subject in chair. I thought we solved the puzzle already. What does it mean by preparation? I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. I think it means one of us has got to sit in the chair. I don't understand what that puzzle was. Seven's never gonna get fit in that thing. It's either you or me, Jupei. Collecting data, I wonder what, if it's gonna run electricity to the subject. There's a human head on the screen. It's, it, maybe it's gonna zap the brain with electricity? Doesn't sound safe. And we gotta, still gotta prepare. We can talk about this after we figure out what preparation means. The disposal tank is closed, filled with water. Yellow. Um, pull the lever. Is that water? What's going on? Will you calm down? It's just water going somewhere. Sounds like it's underneath us. That means the floor. Oh, Jupe, look. What's she? Oh, damn. I can see through the glass now. E D B F. There's a shark there. A couple letters in the blood written on the shark's belly. It's like E D B F. Is 
There's a strange noise coming from the chair. It looks like it's been turned on. I guess the puzzle here was the power had to be sent in a specific way. Tanks connecting the pipes. Uh, it doesn't really seem like they need to hear. I wonder if there's a reason for it. It's open. Hole's too small. I can't see it even with the cover up. You see, but there's enough room to stick your arm in. It scares me a little, but we need to see if anything is useful there. Arm in the hole. Think I feel something. It's small, cold, and hard. Doesn't feel like there's anything else in here. Let's see what this thing is. Sun key. Sunky should fit the keel on these manacles. All right, sun key, and you go. And yes, here they're open. I don't think we're gonna need the sun key again in here, though. It just seems unlikely. In my pocket, you go. Train device is unlocked. Please seat subject in the well, device. Like we thought, it's not going to work unless someone sits in it. How ironic that this would be the situation in which this slim, beautiful body is useful. Lotus, are you sure? I can sit in it and you can solve. Junpei's right. If we screw it up... Uh. I'll be fine. Even if I fall in, the shark is already dead. But... No one likes an indecisive New subscriber! Manager. I can still give you advice from the chair too, you know. Thank you for sub and Kappa Life chose me. Thank you for the sub. I just don't want to stay in this room any longer than we have to. Go over to that screen and let's get this over with. Do you think you could do me one last favor? Uh, don't say last. You're making me nervous. Just listen. If something happens to me, I want you to tell my daughters. Y your daughters? Tell them that I loved them very much. No. Tell them that I will always love them. Dead people can't love, lady. Daughters? You, you've got kids? Yes, I do. I suppose they're about your age, Junpei. They're twins. I had them when I was young after... Well, some things happened. Their names are Nona and... Wait! What? Nona? Aoi, Light, Light and Nona. Those, Those were their were names. names. Well, well, some, some of, them. of them. The kids the that kids were that in the experiment. experiment. Wait, kids could have the same name as other kids? No way. But what the hell? What's wrong with you? Oh. No way. It, it couldn't. Lotus, is your last name... Kashiwabara? How do you know that? Are you serious? What the hell is this? There's no way you're that kid's mom. That kid? Wait, what do you mean that kid? Why are you acting like you've met her? I have. What? Yeah, I... I met one of your kids. When? It was late, I was at a bar... Nine years ago. Where? On this ship. Why were you... It's not a short story. Look, I don't care how long it is. Tell me, please, what happened here? Fine, I'll tell you. I'm... 
but and then that was when <laughs> from there are they really doing this it looked like just as if finally <laughs> Wow. That's all I remember from nine years ago. Oh my god. Everything I've been looking for for the last nine years. Best story. The person who had all the answers was right here. Looking for? Yes, that's right. Nine years ago, my daughters disappeared. Then nine days later, they came back. Nine, nine, nine. They never told me what happened to them over those nine days. I took them to the doctor, but I was told they hadn't been hurt in any way. Still, I was sure that they had been through something. So I couldn't bring myself to force them to talk about it. If I did, then I'd force them to relive whatever horrors they'd been through. I didn't have any choice. I had to try and ignore it and move on. Oh. Hmm. A few months passed. Gradually, they started to act like they always had before they disappeared. They smiled and made jokes and did all the silly things kids do. It got harder and harder for me to ask them about what happened. How could I ask them to remember that? Eventually, I knew there was no way I could do it. Hmm. But I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. You're a mother, all right. So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? Nothing. The police pretended to be concerned, but they didn't do anything. Once the 16 children who'd gone missing came back, things were... T even the media didn't talk about what had happened. I figured someone was probably paying or threatening them to keep their mouths shut. Cradle pharmaceuticals. No, probably something even bigger than that. Cradle pharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them before? No. It's the first time I've ever heard that name. Seven, how did you find out that Cradle Pharmaceuticals was connected to the kidnappings in the first place? I figured finding out whatever the victims had in common would lead me to the culprit. That's what any good cop does. What did they have in common? Every single one of the kids who disappeared had gone to this one hospital at some point. The hospital was one of a bunch that were under the control of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. After that, it was just about connecting the dots. The hospital. The hospital. The hospital. And for a while, I was trying to get some kind of information out of the kids at the hospital. One of them told a weird story. What was it? Have you heard about the Gansfeld experiment? The what? I guess all these kids had to go through it while they were at the hospital. I think it was passed off as New some subscriber. sort of counseling. What did you call it again? Yes! Thank you, Fells, for subbing with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Oh, the Gansfeld experiment. This is how it's set up. First... Subjects Q and A are put into separate rooms, far away from one another. Then a series of video images are shown to Subject Q, who is told to send the images to Subject A by thinking about them. Subject A, on the other hand, is put in a large reclining chair and given a blindfold. With their senses cut off, A is asked to guess what images Q is looking New at. New subscriber! Yes! M. Whitestone, thank you for subbing. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. It's a famous telepathy experiment, isn't it? Hmm, telepathy. 
That's how the experiment on this ship was supposed to work. The experiment to control people, right? Yeah. I don't know if any of the telepathy stuff really exists, but maybe someone from Cradle Pharmaceuticals bought into it. <laughs> Even if that is the case, I still don't get how that has anything to do with any of this. The notary game, Zero, why we were kidnapped. What does any of that have to do with telepathy? I know I brought all this up, but I have no idea. Maybe none of this stuff is connected after all. Hmm. Experiment. Please seat subject in the restraining device. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, oh no, that's not what we. Get in the fucking chair. Just hurry up and get it over with. Junpei, I'm counting on you. R right. Lotus, please, tell me right away if you feel anything... weird. You worry too much. Now get on with it and be a man, or June's gonna leave you. Ho 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 ho. Damn. Lotus. Okay, let's do this. All right, uh, what now? What now? What? How are you supposed to get to that? I don't understand how you're supposed to get to this conclusion. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any Like, how are you supposed to, like, know that? I don't... Here's your hint. There's the answer. Like, what? side's correct. Just gotta get that side to work somehow. 
That side's correct. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the hell's happening. I don't know what's happening right now. <sighs> All right, switch number one. Adds those two and those two. Switch number two adds those two and those two. Just add flat numbers. All right, let's see. Let me. I need some. I think I need paper for this. The Starbucks bag will do. Three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven, six, four, 
and four, seven, six, four, and four. Number one. Okay, this adds one. One, two, and two. Two adds. One, one. Two and one. One adds two, one, three, and two. Uh, number two adds one, one, zero, and one. One adds zero, zero, one and two. Two adds one, one. Zero and one. One adds three, one, zero and three. Wait, wait, whoa, whoops, whoops. Undo. It adds two, zero, zero and two. Then two adds two, zero, two and one. Alright. So now I need six, seven, six, four, and four. Now that would be not enough. Okay, so that's out. It's not that. So that means it has to be one of the twos. And then the two zeros. It has to be one of the twos and then a one and a one and a zero. Okay, so that means for sure. Okay, so part of the solution has to be this one and that one. So this one has to be one, that one has to be one. So that's five and four. I need a one and a zero. Okay, five, so I need a two and a zero. And I 
need a one and a one and a one. How about two and one? That would make one, two. Okay, the top right one. So either a zero and a two or a That works out fine. Okay, so it can't be that one. That one's eliminated. So two ones. Okay, so we have four, five, two, Experiment has concluded. The door will now unlock. I can hear the door unlocking. And now we've got a new message. Release subject from a training device. Lotus, are you all right? I'm happy, but I'm losing my life. Just got a little shorter. Hold on, I'll get you out right away. Shouldn't take long for Seven and me to get her out of here. Uh, let's get her out of here now. Being a guinea pig is not for me. Damn straight. I don't ever want to see this thing again. We found it! It has been found! The hallway goes to the left. Always in a hallway to the left. Uh, thank you for scoring for the resub, Stink Fist. Mental State Mike, Rye Dog, Slaughtering, Phonomarnix, Aaron's Flow, Pajama Ripper. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Hallway goes left. Yeah, but I don't see any doors. Well, the solution is just a math problem. You just have to... Every switch gave you a certain number of numbers. You needed the numbers to add up to certain numbers in each slot. So it, it was it's just a simple math problem that is in a confusing way, ma like... It's organized confusingly on purpose, but it's actually not that hard. Yes, we just need to keep going. Right, let's go. An elevator. Just what we need. Let's take this to sea deck. Huh? Huh? No one's here. Well, you're in the hallway. Everyone's in the other room. Where did they go? I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, Junpei! We should follow him. I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. Yes. <laughs> All right, time to open they this. They sound like horses. Hold on a sec there. Huh? We don't have the key for this one yet, right? That's... Oh, it's the Jupiter symbol. Then we can't open this door. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Jeez, the sun door's got to be just on the other side of this, you know? We can't just stop. Hey, it, it opened. What? What? And the others must have found the Jupiter key. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, what? <gasps> Why? Uh-oh. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell happened? Uh huh. Clover. Whoops. Nothing. She's dead. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? The, the murderer? Santa, Clover, and Ace. Three people, three dead bodies. That means that the person who had killed them was... Huh. No. No, it can't be true. No. Give it to me! I'll give it to you, baby. Let's go! <sighs> What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't feel it unlock. Oh, no. Is it the wrong key? I don't know. Maybe. It's open. What the hell is this? Wait, you mean the door was already unlocked? Why? How would I know that? <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. Boo! No. Uh. What the hell is this door? I can't see anything that looks like a doorknob or switch or lever or card reader or or anything. Dan S. How the fuck are we supposed to open this? We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to go back. No. No, I'm not going back there. There is a murderer back there. But I don't see any other doors. No way. It opened by itself. It's an automatic door? Look, guys, I've got a really bad feeling about all this. The other doors were already unlocked, and this one's automatic. We haven't seen anything like this before. Bad feeling. <laughs> We've hit bottom. This can't get any worse. Shit! Hey, Junpei! I can't take this anymore. No one can. <sighs> no. It's a lie. It's gotta be. This can't be real. No, no. It's impossible. If it's a dream, just wake up already. Someone please tell me it's all just a joke. I, I'm imagining things. Yep, that's it. This is all obviously a lie. It's a big, elaborate trick. It, an illusion or something, or, or a dream. It's made up. Ah! Ah! Connie! Uh-oh. Connie! Connie, hang on! Uh. Connie! Jumpy? Oh, man. Connie, there's so much blood. What the hell happened to you? How did this happen? Jumpy, I'm sorry. I... Uh, I might not make it. No, no way. No way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Oh, for... Everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. 
really happy. Oh, don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Uh. You, 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 oh, what can I do? Damn it! What's that? A submarine? What on earth is a submarine doing here? I've always wanted a yellow submarine. Th that's it! Hang on, all right? There's a submarine over there. I I I'm gonna go see if it works. No! Don't go. Please, don't go. Please, just stay with me, okay? I want to be close to you, Jumpy. When, when I... Connie. Jumpy, did you know... You meant a lot to me when we were kids. I liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. <laughs> Jumpy, do you remember how we hung out a lot? When we were kids, we went to the pool and to the fair. Do you remember playing snowball at the school? They're all memories I'll never forget. All of those moments are treasures to me. to a lot of other places with you a lot more like third base but that won't happen now no i mean yes yes it will happen we'll go all sorts of places connie you hear me i promise we'll go wherever you want really Yeah, really. I swear. <gasps> that makes me happy. Really happy. Jumpy. How long are you going to take to die, lady? My god. I feel sleepy. No, Connie. Don't fall asleep. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Connie! 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 Time passed. Junpei wept curled around Kane's body. He cried and cried until he had no tears left. When the last tear fell, Junpei was no more. His body remained but only as an empty shell. Somewhere he heard a bell ring. It was the clock at the central staircase. <laughs> It rang five times, then faded. Five o'clock. Quietly, gently, softly, he set Kani down on the floor. Slowly, Junpei stood. Only then did he realize that Seven and Lotus had not followed him. 
Where had they gone? Slowly he looked around the room. There was nothing. No sign they'd ever been there. Photos of every part of Junpei's body was made of lead. Slowly he made his way to the door he'd come through. As he approached it, it opened, sliding apart with a sound like grinding stone. Junpei passed through the gate and into the hallway. His heart rattled in his chest, an empty, lifeless thing. It had been so utterly broken there was nothing left to feel. When he saw their bodies, he simply stared. It was a lake, a sea, no, a deluge of blood. Two bodies lay in it. No need to check. There is no breath left in them. His eyes lit on Lotus's wrist. Her bracelet. It was gone. He stared. It meant nothing to him. He didn't care anymore. He couldn't care anymore. Junpei's body felt numb. A part of him knew the lump of lead in his chest had once been a heart. Couldn't quite remember what it was for. Tears poured from his eyes in great streams. Subscriber. He wasn't sure why, but the name Giant Green Pickle somehow was on his mind as a great person who subscribed with Twitch Prime. No, regular sub. He gave up trying to make them stop. He turned around. The door opened again and slowly numb, slowly numbingly walked through the door. He kept walking. Why stop? An object set in motion, simple inertia carried him forward. He eventually found himself in front of a submarine. His arm reached for the hatch. Then he was floating in water. His eyes stared down into it. He couldn't see the bottom. His back was hot. Dimly, he felt the blade of a knife in it. Who? One dead body lay behind door number five. The body of the ninth man. Another lay in the shower room. The body of Snake. Staircase were three more. Ace, Santa, and Clover. Just outside the door were two corpses. Those of Seven and Lotus. In this very room lay the body had once been canny. And now Junpei would join them. Who then had killed them all? Who? Junpei let out one last breath. Faintly, he felt the bubbles creep up in the sides of his face. His consciousness faded quickly, dissolving away into the cold, gentle now lapping of the water. That was one ending. Apparently I have to get all of them to get the true ending. Now, do you have to replay from the start every time or can you go back to the points where the story changes and choose a different place?
go back to the flow chart. Okay. I think we need to examine the number nine body for sure. There is only one. Actually, no, never mind. The end, or is it? She's still warm. Tip five dollars says, "Well, congrats, Dan. You got the good ending." If you have reached one ending, this game has multiple endings. In order to experience all the endings, you need to play through the game multiple times. Be sure to save your progress now to retain all the information you've required. Every escape is added to the title screen. Access the flowchart, turn the title screen, start from the beginning. So we could go down this path, or this path, or and then somewhere down this way. So that's one ending. How do you go back? Oh, you can go here. Well, we really we can't, right? <sighs> like you. You say so? No. Yeah. Huh? Well. Oh. You first. I. It's the same. Got it. You're next. I'll take. What? Who me? Oh, you. All right, Junpei. I'll take door number seven. I. I think. I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. Seven it is. Yeah. All right then. That means June's got to go through eight. What? Why? What? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Actually, let's go even back further. Let's go back to door number five. I thought we would. We should. Oh my god, talking you really only I wanna see the dead Very body. Well. Sure enough. Well it's well, thanks. Correct. But but who's Oh yeah. Uh, all eight of us. Then it would uh we we, Wait, we go I'm through different parts of the Call story me. now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh hey man, if you think what the hell Yeah, doesn't mean Oh. Fine. I can't go in there Is there a way to skip anyway. all this? I'll go. What? Don't we make How do you Because I That's it you're What of... there's nothing if I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Let's see. Control. I'll go through door. Wait, what? The control. Let's see. Uh, 11, 11, 17, 22, 4. Yeah, so the team, seven, Lotus, Santa. Are these really the teams I want? The Ondor 5 is, I know. Of course, if I could. Should I stay side or should I stop them? All right then. I'm going through. I want to go through door five. Hey, wait. I want to go through door five too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. Why? Clinger? No, you can't. I. I can't. Why? We're. Oh, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well... 
Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. Don't go away! You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. No! Yes. Don't be so selfish. Why? You'll be fine. Once you go through the Just door, relax. it'll be all new content. Hmm. What did he tell her? Okay. I understand. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, seven, and snake. Seven plus two plus five equals 14. And the digital root of 14, one is plus five. four is five. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is 22. And the digital root of 22 is two plus two, four. Math. We're okay with this. No problems here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, then. You can do it! The lever's all that's left. Okay. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Please be careful. We will. Why is he playing this part again? We're going through the other route, if you're new. And it's open. If you're new, uh, we went through the left side. Now we're going down the right side, which is all new stuff. And we get to this room, we'll, we'll go down probably this door to see where that goes. And then we have all of this is stuff we haven't done yet. So that there's a lot of game we haven't played yet. All new areas, puzzles, conversations, topics, etc. Oh. That's messed up. Oh, God. That... that was the ninth man. Oh. How can you... Probably smells like poo because his, his intestines exploded. Well... Do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. Let's go! Uh. Damn it! The countdown started! Hurry, find the dead! Shit! The door! There's no turning back now. And if we don't manage to find the deactivation device... Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should find I Find it! Stay calm. Look around you. Okay, okay, uh, I get it. Ah! Uh, found it! Right here! Well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you alright? Boom! Oh shit, I died! Oh. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. All right, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. And they're gone. Now. Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. Maybe this wall can be moved. Let's look at the body. Or not. <sighs> It's not hey, there's a door over there. A first class cabin, huh? <gasps> I love first class. Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? All right then. Let's go. 
Wasn't the whole point to look at the body, though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to look, but... <laughs> Chat wants the gore. Oh, it's so horrible. I, I can't even tell what's what. <laughs> He'd been wearing these. The bracelet's off. Oh, wait. Zero did say... The bracelet comes off when you're dead. Uh, but what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? Uh, oh, just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. Take it. Oh, God. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm going to puke. Oh, I got to get out oh, of here. Oh, God. Huh. Huh. Wait, where did they... Through here? Ooh. Hmm. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? So I would assume. Or it's the red light district. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. This looks like a bedroom. Then the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. Alright, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys! I must find it. First class, cl first class cabin. Score plate A. Mm. What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. I heard something strange. Something strange? Ah, oh, well, never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn. But my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> no. Such nom, a thing nom, would be nom, impossible. Nom, nom, Thank you for a thousand bits or later. Thank you very much. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. You do not have sonar. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was, hmm. Yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Oh, really? You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? I must warn you, you'll no doubt regret it. Uh... Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? Hmm. A 
white desk feels kind of uh, oppressive. Small round chair. Looks like it probably goes up to vanity. Totally a table with a mirror. As you know, sort of thing makes is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and being subscribed. As as such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into un, to one of these, she's staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? It's a map of the ship. Now possible to use the map. A window, iron plate nailed to it. A bed. This high quality desk, teak or perhaps mahogany. How can you tell? Oh, I have my ways. Oh, the safe is locked. It's one of those dial locks. It doesn't have a key. We need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Do you find anything, Seven? Nope. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Score plate C. Leather suitcase. Nothing inside. Top of the weight makes no noise and shaking. Light switch. Nothing happens when I press it. Sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. Gotta put the faucet all the way. Can't hear anything. I'll plug it in this chain. Let's see if I can pull it out. Whoa! Hold up, bro! I was just thinking we might use this water. Use the water? Lights, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair, college kid, and a terrifying giant man of a beanie. Stuck in a cramped room. So the Raw Jupe looked like real sad all of a sudden. No, nothing. Heaviest paper is folded in half. It has score printed on the front of it. It's gonna be a musical score. If that's true, the score we found was probably put in here at some point. Couple lights in the wall. Some strange antique desk. Some chair. There's an iron grate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. The couch looks big enough for three people. It's perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. <laughs> the couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's something you want to say. Never mind. Chupi, where are you going? Didn't we come out that door? No point going back there. Oh, let's back to this locked door and. End. A dead body or what's left of it. Yeah. You can use his face, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. Fill stay with water. Oh. Score plate G. Suitcase made of leather in the color of rich mahogany. Well, shoot. Looks like nothing left in it. Nothing in there either. is full of water. Oh, toilet. It's toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. Some toilet paper on the wall. Nothing looks suspicious. Alright, put the fire out. Good job. No success. That fire didn't stand a chance. All right, I'll pull this out. Don't want to get burns. Pull it down the sleeves. Score plate. Oh. 
<sighs> what? Hey, Seven. What the hell was that? Are you alright? It's on the floor! Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. What the hell is wrong with me? There's memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. <sighs> memory loss? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess that's true. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck. But that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. But that's... that's it? That's it. Uh, uh... All right, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. How are you fine with something like that? Yeah, he's fine. I guess we'll go to the piano with the thing we found. Music stand. Might as well put the music I found. Glass plates onto. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, I put them on top so they look odd. So it looked like a song. Need to find more glass plates. Oh shit. It's like a locking thing. It's flashing red. Usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? It's like a satellite dish. Let me see. Hmm. Judging by the feel of it, we guess we're needing to produce some sort of sound. This device will sense it and unlock. safe here. Nothing in there. Oh! There's a thing in there now. Now I can drain that, so... Is that all of them now? Sweet, now I can play the music. Junpei, would be some kind of play the piano? I'm unable to, you see. I'm sh sure I wouldn't need to tell you, but the keys of piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which key to strike. Do you understand? Oh no, not music puzzles.
Okay. the second note then this is a note in between wait that's back to the first again Music without my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. Heard something unlocked by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand, bow. Be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero is thinking of, however. No, no, Zero almost certainly means to suggest Westminster, not middle school. Westminster? The Palace of London that plays host to the, these days to the Houses of Parliament. I've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London, the capital of England, hmm? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. But... Chest, though. The chest seems like, hmm. The safe, I mean. It's a save. The exit's open. It's strange we didn't need to open this to achieve our goal. I think it's important. I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Save with a dial lock on it. We won't be able to open it until we know the right numbers. for the hmm. well I guess I... it's not in the room I guess I feel like it's important to like a true ending There's anything else to do? All right, let's go. Maybe I can come back or something. I don't know. Another hallway? Hmm. That should do it. What's he up to? <laughs> <laughs> 